Good morning. Today's lesson is 7.5. Today we're going to evaluate algebraic expressions and formulas. Our essential question, how do you evaluate an algebraic expression or a formula? To evaluate an algebraic expression, substitute the numbers for the variable and then follow the order of operation. Let's unlock the problem. Amir is saving money to buy an MP3 player that cost $120. He starts with $25 and each week he saves $9. The expression 25 plus 9w gives the amount that Amir will have saved after weeks. So the w stands for weeks. So if he started with 25, there's my 25, plus, and then I'm saving $9 per week. So it's 9 times the w is going to tell me how much he's going to save. So which operation does the expression 25 plus 9w include? Well, it includes multiplication and addition, right? Because you have the plus and then you have the 9w, which essentially means to multiply the nine times how many over the weeks there. Are. In what order should you perform the operations? Well, we've been doing this for a while, right? So you're in this particular case, you would multiply first and then you would add because there's no parentheses and there's no exponents, right? How much will Admir have saved after eight weeks? So now for the W, we're going to put eight in that spot. So right here, it's going to be nine times eight. And then whatever you get from that, you're going to add to 25, right? So let's evaluate the expression with it. Okay, so first we're going to write the expression. We have 25 plus 9w. Then we're going to substitute the 8 for w. So it's going to be 25 plus the 9 times w. Next we multiply. 9 times 8 is 72. Then we're going to add 25 plus 72, and we get 97. So Admir will save $97 after 8 weeks. After how many weeks will Admir have saved enough to buy the MP3 player? Remember that it's $120 that he needs, right? So week nine, we just did week, we did week eight, right? We did week eight. So week nine is gonna be this 25 plus nine times nine, okay? And so, um, because now we're on nine weeks, because we have nine, and so we substitute this W for nine, because last time we did it for eight, right? So 25, so first we do nine times nine, which is gonna be 81. And now we can add the 25 and the 81 to get 106. So the amount saved is 106. Now week 10, so now for this W right here, we're gonna substitute and we're gonna do a 10. So now we have 10 times nine, right? And 10 times nine is 90. So now we have 90 times, or 90 plus 25, and we're gonna get 115. We still don't have enough money after week 10, so let's try week 11. So again, now we're substituting for this W, we're substituting an 11. So 11 times nine, is 99 and then we're going to add the 99 to the 25 and we get 124 so the amount saved is 124 so admir will save enough money for the mp3 player after 11 weeks he'll have four dollars left over but it is going to take him at least 11 weeks to purchase that an mp3 player by the way is kind of like an ipod which i know it might be slightly out of date but um we all use our phones for that now, but maybe instead of saving up for an MP3 player, you can think of it as saving up for a cell phone. Okay, example one. Evaluate the expression for the given value of the variable. So we have four times, and then in parentheses, we have m minus eight, another parentheses, divided by three. For the m, we're gonna put in a 14. So right here where this m is, we're gonna make it be 14. So we're gonna write the expression four times, and then we have our m minus eight divided by 13. So right here, we're gonna plug in the 14, okay? Now you gotta perform the operation. So remember, we do parentheses first, then powers, um, or parentheses, then exponents. So in the parentheses, I have 14 minus eight, and 14 minus eight is six. So now I bring everything down. So I bring my four down. Now I have my six right here because that's what was in the parentheses and I still have it divided by th three. Now you're going to do multiplication division as it goes across from right to left. So we're gonna do four times six, right? Which is 24. Now we do 24 divided by three and we get eight, okay? Let's look at the next expression. So we have three times and then our parentheses and we have y um, with an exponent of 2 plus 2. So for y, we're going to put in the, the number 4 because that's what they're telling us the value. So let's write our expression. So we wrote it down here. We have 3x and we have our y to the second power plus 2 and that's in parentheses. So first let's substitute the 4 for the y. So let's move that out of the way. Now, you do parentheses first. Well, inside these parentheses, 
um, is an exponent, so you have to do the exponent first. Remember that 4 to the second power is saying 4 times 4 because my base number is 4 and how many times I multiply it is in the exponent. So 4 times 4 is what we're going to put right here and that's 16. Now we're going to finish the exponent, or now we're going to finish what's in the parentheses. So 16 plus 2 is 18. So now we have 3 times 18, and so now we can multiply, and 3 times 18 is 54. All right, example 2. The formula P equals 2L times 2W. L is length, W is width, right? So that gives the perimeter of a rectangle with the length and the width. What is the perimeter of a rectangle garden with a length of 2.4 meters and a width of 1.2 meters? So for those of you visual, we have our rectangle. And the width is 2, oh actually, the width is 2w and the length is 2l, right? And the perimeter is this times this. See, there's my perimeter, 2l times 2w. So we're going to, our length is 2.4, right? So this is going to be, I'm going to substitute, okay, 1.2 is how much my width is, and 2.4 is my length. So that means I have 2 times 2.4, and I have 2 times the 1.2, because remember they said right here that my length is 2.4, so this is 2.4, and that my width is 1.2. So that means, and when I had my, when I'm filling in my formula, I have 2L, which is 2 times um, 2.4. And then my width was 2W, so now I'm substituting this W, and that's same, the same thing as 2 times 1.2, right? Okay, so continuing on, I want to make sure that we've got the clear. Now I'm going to simply multiply from left to right. So 2 times 2.4 is 4.8, so then I bring down my plus 2 and I bring down my times 1.2. Next in my order of operations, I'm going to do the multiplication here because I do that before I do the addition, right? Order of operations, very important. So 2 times 1.2 is 2.4. Now I can add 4.8 and 2.4 and I get 7.2. So the perimeter of the garden is going to be 7.2 meters. All right, let's do a few more. Evaluate 5k plus 6 when k is 4. So first we write the expression, right, 5k plus 6, and then we're going to substitute the 4 for k. So now we have 5 times 4 plus 6. What do we do first? We multiply. So 5 times 4 is 20, plus the 6 is 26. All right, let's do a couple more. So if we have this one right here, let's do m minus 9, and then m is going to be 13, so that means 13 minus 9, and 13 minus 9 is 4. Same here on number 3, so we have 16 minus 3b, and, th and b is um, going to be the value of 4, so that means I have 16, oops, I have 16 minus 3 times, and then there's my b, 4. So I do my times first, which is 12. So now I have 16 minus 12, and 16 minus 12 is 4. Okay, actually I'm going to do this next one just because it has an exponent. I don't want to, um, I want to make sure we've got that. So on this one we have P with an exponent of 2 plus 4, and P is equal to 6. So there's my 6, make sure I put my 2 on top, or my exponent, plus 4. So what I do is I do my exponents first. Remember, this is saying that the base is 6, and then I'm multiplying it 2 times, right? It's not 6 times 2. It's 6 times 6, which is 36 plus 4, and 36 plus 4 is 40. Okay, the rest you're going to do on your own or with a partner, and I'm always there for you if you need me on the floor. All right, good luck.